Hi and welcome to simplyscuba.com. This video is all about snorkels and will cover how to tell the difference between a good and a bad snorkel, the options you can find on different snorkels and what all the different components of a snorkel do. Now snorkels are not all made equal and can range from substandard models found in supermarkets or seaside stores to very high specification snorkels that are made using high grade materials and are loaded with features. First of all, check that the snorkel or snorkeling set is CE marked. All products sold in the UK and Europe should be CE approved to make sure it is fit for purpose and complies with all current regulations. All of the snorkels or snorkeling sets that we sell here at Simply Scuba are CE marked to ensure they are safe to use. Another thing to look out for is that very cheap snorkels typically use silica or PVC as a silicone like material in key components such as the mouthpiece. Unlike silicone, silica is a hard material which makes it very uncomfortable to use, especially if it is used as the mouthpiece, which will likely rub and cause soreness. Silica also has a habit of warping and losing its shape when it gets warm and quickly discolours. Silicone doesn't have this problem and is a comfortable, soft and flexible material, making it a much better choice for use in snorkels. As with all things, snorkels can range in quality. From basic J-shaped snorkels that are commonly used by scuba divers and freedivers, to advanced snorkels with one-way purge valves for easy clearing and float valves to prevent water entering into the snorkel as you dive down. In its purest form, a snorkel is simply a tube with a fixed curve section which finishes with a mouthpiece. Its sole purpose is to allow the user to breathe easily and efficiently without having to raise their heads out of the water. Scuba divers prefer them because they are the simplest and easiest to tuck away for when they need them on the surface. Free divers who can dive to great depths on a single breath and rely on being as streamlined as possible use only these snorkels due to their simplicity and reduced drag through the water. Mid-range snorkels start to incorporate small purge chambers which make clearing the water easier and perhaps a wave deflector to help prevent waves lapping over the top of the snorkel and splashing down into the snorkel itself. These snorkels also feature a flexible corrugated silicone section between the snorkel tube and the mouthpiece to provide a more comfortable fit to the mouth. Simple mast strap clips also appear that make fitting the snorkel to the mast quicker. The majority of snorkelers will use this type of snorkel. Top of the range snorkels will feature larger, better designed purge chambers to help keep the airway clear even when water is in the snorkel. Advanced mast strap clips that allow one time setup and very quick separation. High end snorkels also start to feature dry top valves they use a float mechanism to open and close a valve at the top of the snorkel to prevent water entering the tube if the snorkel does happen to duck under the surface. These snorkels are great for anyone that isn't 100% confident in the water. So let's take a look at the individual components of a snorkel and differences you might come across. We'll start at the top of the snorkel and work our way down. The top of the snorkel will either be a simple opening or have a wave deflector or dry top valve fitted. The simple opening is the most efficient option that allows unrestricted flow of air in and out of the snorkel. A wave deflector effectively adds a cap over the top of the snorkel and works to direct water that splashes over the top away from the snorkel opening. A dry top valve also uses the outer design of a wave deflector to push splash water away from the snorkel opening but also features a float mechanism that will shut a one-way valve as the snorkel is taken below the surface, preventing the water from entering the snorkel all the time it is actually underwater. As soon as the valve clears the surface, the float drops down and the valve opens. The snorkel tube itself can vary in shape, diameter, cross-section and material to achieve a variety of effects. A basic snorkel is likely to feature a rigid circular cross-section tube, but this is not always the best option for two reasons, damage and drag. 
A hard, rigid material is prone to damage, and it would only take someone to step on it to irreparably reshape the snorkel, rendering it unsafe to use. A lot of snorkels use a more flexible material that has a rigid form but is able to bend and flex but crucially will return to its original shape. The shape and cross section of a snorkel tube is also important for drag. When in use, the snorkel sticks out from the side of the head and drags in the water when finning. This drag can cause the snorkel to flap uncomfortably against the side of the head. So rather than use a perfectly circular cross section and straight tube, a snorkel should hug the side of the head and bend inwards as it goes up. An oval shaped cross section lowers the profile of the snorkel but maintains the same flow efficiency. The most basic way to secure your snorkel to your mast strap is by using a snorkel retainer. Simple snorkels are still supplied with this form of retainer, but they are not particularly easy to adjust once the snorkel mask and snorkel are on, and often require removal to adjust for the best fit and will also require adjusting every time you take the snorkel off. To make it easier, new retainers and clips were developed to allow the snorkel to slide up and down so the snorkel can be quickly removed without the need to adjust every single time. These clips and retainers come in a huge number of variations, from simple plastic ones to two-piece quick-release versions. This component of a snorkel curves the tube around towards the mouth so that the mouthpiece fits comfortably without pulling. A basic snorkel will feature a fixed angle piece that is usually made from silicone, but more advanced snorkels will use a flexible corrugated section to allow the mouthpiece to be comfortably positioned towards the mouth. It is important that the corrugation is only on the outside, with the inside of the tube being smooth to prevent turbulence that can restrict airflow and also hinder clearing water from a snorkel. This section is the only time a harder silicone might be used in a more expensive snorkel and it is only used to achieve a purpose. By using high grade silicone, the mouthpiece is allowed to drop away from the mouth, but this isn't preferred by all snorkelers. So some snorkels will have a harder silicone section to help retain its curved shape, but still provide flexibility for comfort. For comfort, a mouthpiece should always be made using 100% pure high grade silicone as it provides a soft, flexible finish that is unlikely to rub or cause irritation even after prolonged use. Most manufacturers will even round off the edges of the mouthpiece to achieve the best comfort level possible. Some snorkels offer a smaller mouthpiece that is designed to provide a better and more comfortable fit for younger teenagers and women that find standard mouthpieces too large to use. The mouthpiece is attached to a lower chamber which in a simple snorkel just provides the final turn towards the mouth. More expensive snorkels begin to feature water collection chambers and a one-way valve which help drain water away rather than the need to exhale sharply to clear the water up the snorkel tube. These chambers help keep the airway open even if there is water in the snorkel. The size and shape of a purge chamber can vary but the principle is the same. So that's everything you need to know about snorkels. Please take a look through our high quality range at simplyscuba.com to find the perfect one for you.